shame on Verizon for not including the release part and uh, in their instructions. Hey guys, this is John Morgan, um, and I wanted to hopefully do a fairly quick video on setting up a new Verizon router. Just finished hooking up my parents' new router, uh, and. Verizon does a pretty good job at giving instructions. Uh, these work great if you don't already have a router hooked up. But if you're replacing a router, like my parents routed here, the old one is right here, um, and it's the Action Tech blah blah blah. Um, anyways, uh, the new router is supposed to be bigger and better, faster, but the problem is, what they don't tell you, Verizon, no steps for releasing this router from the computer. So you can't just unplug it and plug that one in. It doesn't work. Um, the DHCP, which I had to look up, because um, um, Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol has to be released from this. There's a connection has to be released before you can hook up another router. Um, I'm not all Mr. Tech, just uh, do it on, on the side here. Um, so, what I am going to try to step you through, we don't want to um, totally unconnect the router that we just put on. But I wanted to at least give you the information to that we had to go search for. Um, there's other great videos that show you how to hook up the the Verizon router. Verizon has one even. But um, what they what I want to show you is what they don't tell you in their steps. So first, you want to uh, before you re re unhook this, you want to go to your computer. And you want to type in, you want to access that router. And the way you do that is through an IP address. And most people probably don't know off the top of their head what IP address is. We did a little search and found it. So it's uh, 192, and it's popping up there for me, 192.1.168.168.168.168.168.168.168.168.168.168.168.168.168.168.168.168.168.168.168.168.168.168.168.168.168.168.168.168.168.168.168.168.168.168.168.168.168.168.168.168.168.168.168.168.168.168.168.168.
for every time you type and so no worries it's not really typing extra numbers I wish they would just show your password here because who really cares C S J F zero two nine one two zero four zero seven seven okay now I'm in um, that won't be your password that's strictly for this router and um, okay so here's a little tricky part let me take the camera and I will so what you want to do when you're here and this is going to show as un so I'm not connected to my broadband so it's not going to work exactly how you need to see it or how you will see it but you click on the my network icon which is right here oh, do that okay right here boom and then you go to um, select network connections so you go you select this one down here network connections and then you're going to connect the broadband connection of course here it says cable dis disconnected because we're not connected to the internet um, since we're already we're already connected and my dad didn't want us to change things since we just figured this all out but you click on that and once you click on um, so we're under broad broadband connection you just click on broadband connection um, and then you you click on settings down here and here it says as you see cable disconnected um, like I said but um, if it was connected you'd have an option to click release and so that would be releasing it breaking the uh, DHCP um, there is nothing to click but you should see something and then you would hit apply okay and then you disconnected it and you want to right after you click apply that's going to disconnect your your cable or your modem from your computer and then you're going to, want to turn your, your modem off okay so then you turn it off or unplug it and that makes it so see your DHCP is dynamic it's going to try to connect again it's going to try to make a connection and you don't want that to you don't want that to happen because you're trying to disconnect it. so you're all shut off there um, and it's not that's that's all you need to do um, now you then take your coaxial cable or your ethernet depending on how uh, my dad's has a coaxial coming in um, some people are going to be uh, connected through a ethernet cord um, so you want if your internet's coming in through a coaxial you put it well, here you take it off, and you take off the power, and you take off the little thing to your computer, um, your Ethernet cord, and this one's discarded, returned, or else you get fined. And then you take your new router, um, and you follow their instructions. Their instructions are actually pretty good at this point. Um, it, it's pretty simple. You first connect your Ethernet or your coaxial. So here you got coaxial going in, you connect that, and then you plug it in, and then so then you need to connect your computer. Um, so then <coughs> you connect this Ethernet cord to the computer, and I'm going to do that now. Um, unplug it from the back, the old one. And, like I said, there's probably better videos for this part of it, but just wanted to finish it. Then we turned it on, and it uh, took a while. It blinked a little bit. And the first time he did this, it turned red. And that's when I got the phone call. Um, but the second time, after we did all the release and everything, it stayed. It, it blinked, and then it turned white, just like it is here. So, sorry I can't do that whole spiel for you, but... 
and then it worked. Um, and then the new way to connect, so we're closing that tab here, and the new way to get to your um, the passwords are right here, but I'm not going to give you these passwords because there's his new his new passwords. But you go to my FiOS and I have caps lock on my my FiOS gateway, and then you have to put in the password, which is on here. And this is a new, the new interface, which is talking to this router right here. And then they're all connected. So it's not that hard, but that first spot, we had to do a bunch of Google searches. I want to thank um, Mark Fosfar, Mark Fosfar, um, for posting in the Verizon forums. He's the one that gave me some of those steps to how to release your router. Anyways, um, shame on Verizon for not including the release part and uh, in their instructions because um, it really made a headache for us to do. But once you once you get that done, it's it's these instructions are pretty good. So there you have it. Um, hope it helps. So thanks for watching. Bye.